Governor Tim Pawlenty has rolled back women's access to reproductive health. Despite DFL majorities, there have been no attempts to reverse that action. If elected, will you make it a priority to remove roadblocks to abortion access? Go ahead and start. I think government is not the right place for these decisions to be made. It's to be made by uh, women and in conjunction with whomever they wish to consult, their health providers, their families, and that's where it should lie. And I think I voted against those roadblocks, and I think that they need to be uh, reversed. Just let's go really quickly, candidates. I believe that that is a decision that should lie with women, their doctors, if they seek clergy advice, but also with their families, importantly. And I believe that it's very important. I stood up to every single one of those assaults on the right to obtain medical care. It is a medical decision, and that is where it should lie. Susan? I have been emphatically and vocally pro-choice, pro-family. I'm concerned when politics gets in the middle of women's health, which has happened a lot, but I'm also most concerned about the Plenty's administration's policies not supporting children once they're here. And that, to me, is really wrong. I would remove uh, the roadblocks. I've been consistently pro-choice uh, from the time my uh, Catholic mom said it's really none of your business. So, uh, uh, so th that's the short answer, but it's also important to remember that if we really want to change the trajectory for our society. We also have to make sure that we're doing something to reduce teen pregnancy. We've got to have comprehensive family and sexuality education in schools so that we actually equip people to make better decisions for the future. That's part of the answer to this question, too. Thank you. For 20-some years, I've been working on reproductive choice issues, trying to prevent unintended pregnancies through sexuality education, comprehensive sexuality education, to family planning services. And we have to make sure we protect the rights as well. I've, 20 years ago now, I was fighting to repeal the repressive parental notification law, where if a teenager is gonna have an abortion, she has to notify both parents, even if the father was the one who made her pregnant, even if the father is, uh, never met her before, even if the father is abusive. We have to repeal those unfair roadblocks the biggest thing we have to do is make sure that people have the right to reproductive choice and we're going to prevent unintended pregnancies because that's the number one goal we have to follow. Thank you, Senator Dayton. I absolutely support the right to reproductive freedom and to women making their own decisions about their own bodies and their own lives. I've done so since I first ran for the United States Senate 27 years ago. I have strongly opposed attempts to put up additional restrictions when I was in the United States Senate for six years. And as governor, I'll do everything in my power to uh, eliminate those roadblocks. Thank you. I will work to eliminate those roadblocks as well. Thank you. I've been uh, pro-choice since the first time I ran, and if uh, knowing what a wimp uh, Tim Pelani is, if he had to give birth, he'd be pro-choice too. <laughs> I am strongly pro-choice, we all are, and I want to work with no matter what position any of us have, we have to continue to be passionate about these issues. But I've done a lot of work with young people. I've spent a lot of time in our schools, I speak to every ninth grader in Minneapolis schools, and it's critical that we explain to people this isn't just a political issue. This is an issue about a young person who may be raped, and it's an issue about a young person who may make a mistake, and a young person who needs to grow up to be an adult before they have a kid. It is about an adult who may have been in an abusive situation. It is about real life and death issues, and people deserve to make that moral choice on their own. That's why I'll continue to work with all of these people to support pro-choice. Thank you very much.